Hello, good morning, welcome back to the Fish Lock uh, out on the boat. Out on the boat with my best boy. All wrapped up nice and cosy and warm today, aren't you? Yep. It is a bit of a chilly one. You have got a hot water bottle under there as well, haven't you, yep. somewhere? Now, it's a chilly one, but it is going to be a nice day, so we're going to try and do a little bit of fishing. Not quite sure what fishing we're going to do yet, we'll just have to adapt. But what do we need to do first? Get some bait. Get some bait. You know the score. Let's go. Right, we're in the middle of a patch of bait. <laughs> that is, we are in 22 meters of water, and the sounder is only picking up that we're in four meters of water. But if you can hear that, that's pilchards topping on the surface. Give it a few jigs and wines, because you might find there's some mackerel in there. That's what we're after. Oh, that's a good portrait here. mackerel. Oh. I'll record some of the sound to show you now. The large cloud that you can see there between 4 metres and 20 metres on every side of the boat is all pilchards. It's thick with them. We have managed to find ourselves. How many baits have we got, James? One. Managed to get a couple of half decent mackerel. Let's go. We are rocking about a bit. You're doing a good job. Wow, well done. That was a good cast. No, I haven't gotten into it. It is difficult with gloves on, isn't it? There we go. Cheeky little ball and rust. Nice looking one, but not what we're after. Tiny Pollock. So far the jig's beating the lure. You will stay down there and have a little nap. I'll see if I can't pick a fish out. Story of my day that so far. I've dropped like six fish. Just can't get them to stay on the hook today. Ah, 
That was frustrating. <laughs> that felt like a bass. Just like do, stops you in your tracks and it just goes dun dun dun. Just can't handle them early mornings. It wasn't even very early this morning. It's that hot water bottle. As soon as I give him that water bottle and he put it underneath his jumper, I could see you going. Yes. Finally. Finally a fish. Pollock. What about time, wouldn't it, James? Keep losing him. Keep, keep dropping him. Keep dropping him off the hook, don't I? Eh? This one's a goner, Dad. This one's going. Go back over there. Oh, he says. This actually feels like a nice fish. Just talking to my friend there and we're going to head back over there because we're not catching anything on this bit of reef. This feels like a nice fish, this. You wanna come and grab the net? Or you wanna stay there? Grab the net then. Good man. Need a good net man, don't I? You wanna come and get it then, quick? Watch out, watch out, we're going to fishing rod. There you go. Oh. Finally, we got a nice one. In the net. In the net. Well done. Oh, lift, lift! Yeah, yeah, it is a heavy one, isn't it? Well done, James. Another one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Well, this one was a long time coming, wasn't it, James? Yeah. Took its time. Just can't keep the fish on the hook today. No. Saying that, this one's just spat the hook as well. That is a good, solid pollock. Do you want to? Are we going to keep this one and cook this one? Yes. You want to, yeah? Yes. Well, you heard the man. This one's coming home with us. We'll dispatch and bleed that now. Yeah, all it was on was just a little soft plastic. Part of the problem is, at the moment, is all the bait fish is tiny. It's really, really small stuff. So in order to get a bite, you need to use a little tiny lure. Problem with the little tiny lures is they've got little tiny hooks. You gonna come out and go fishing? No, we just stop speeding the bucket and then we go out and flat. Okay. <laughs> Are your ears getting chilly? Oh, so. A little. I think you need to tuck them inside your hat. Ah. Yeah. I'm after a bass. I would love a bass. Missed it. 
That's a fish. Finally. Oh, it might be a spiky. On, James, are you coming and helping or are you staying there? Coming and helping, are you? You need to be quick then because it's, oh, it's a little poly. Don't worry. Another little pollock. We just can't find the bass today, can we? No, we can't. Fish are down at the bottom at the minute. Finally, finally found a fish. James and start doing a bounce away. What have we got here? I think it's a spiky. Yeah, I hope it's a spiky too. No, another pollock. Oh. Not the silver that we're after, but Still happy to see it. See the tuna jumping out the water. Whoa. You see him? Got some tuna smashing it up down there. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hook into one of those. Not with this. I'm going to wind it in and cast that again. Right. Are you there at your bottom? It's still going. Alright, we'll try it now. Sure it's a snag? It's a fish. It's a fish, James. It's a fish. Okay. Oh, you're still there. Yeah. Well done. All by yourself, right? Lift up. Oh, no. oh do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I hooked a tuna. Jim's hooked a fish, probably a bass, and a tuna picked it up. And his reel was just, what was your reel going like? Oi. <laughs> <laughs> I hooked a tuna! Yeah! My first tuna! Fish <laughs> tuna! That's a fish! Okay! Whoa! Oh, you still there? Yeah! Well done! All by yourself, right? Lift up! Oh, that's a tuna! Oh no! Oh, do you see that? Yeah! I hooked a tuna! <laughs> Keep winding! Put your new leader on. Keep going, keep going, quick. Right, stop. What? Oh, I'm stuck on the bottom. Right, we're going to have to go around. Don't wind anymore because I'm going to have to put your new leader on. Try and get my snag out as well. So, yeah, James has hooked either a pollock or a bass and a tuna's eating it. And I'm stuck in the bottom. Yeah, that's just typical. <laughs> James finally hooks himself into a fish, gets it halfway up the bottom, 
when a tuna comes and eats it and does him. I'm tying him a new leader on now. It did, it looked like you had a nice little fish on, it could have been a bass. The first bass of the day. Mm -hmm. And instead James caught what could have been like a 400 pound tuna. Yeah, it's absolutely zero chance. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't happen again. Absolutely zero chance of doing anything with that tuna <laughs> on that gear, on this gear. It's a little, uh, like a 20 gram conflict rod. But you held on, which is the good thing. Yep. Even when it started going zzz, 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 You still held on, didn't you? Oh, oh. got fish. Oh, good fish, James. Come on, keep going, you've got it. Come on, come on. It's alright, yeah, come on. Oh, I tried to wind it, it Right, you just need to hold it away from the engine. Good lad. You're catching more fish than me today. Whoa, it's a I fighter. Definitely, I definitely caught more species. It's a fighter. Mystery right. fish. Just keep winding. <laughs> yeah. Good lad. Oh, you're nailing it, son. I need to, I need to get out of your way. Um, good job. Keep going. Keep going. It's hard work, isn't it, when it's a big one? Yeah. Ooh. Would you like some help? Or are you alright by yourself? I'm alright. I think you're alright too. Just don't keep, don't let there any slack. You keep letting slack. Don't keep a bend in the rod, look. So you lift up and you keep the rod bent like that, see? Don't let any slack. Right, it's coming up. Get the net. Right, I'm ready. Right, turn the rod out to the right hand side. Right, keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh it's a fighter. My arm's oh, raking. it's a nice pollock. Keep going. Keep going. Well done, son. <laughs> well done. Well done, James. <laughs> That's a lovely one, that. Do you want to? Do you want to let it go? Or do you want to keep it? Keep it. Are you sure? It's not. It's not a very big one. We've already got a pollock. Don't mind. Should we let the pollock go? And if we catch a bass, we'll keep the bass. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well done, James. That is James's fish. You ready? Yeah. One, two, whoosh. straight back. Right, as you were then, you know what you're doing. Yeah. Go on then, catch another one. You're actually doing better with the jigging rod. You are doing better than the jigging rod. Oh, that was a dolphin over there. Yeah, this reel's got hardly any braid left on it now. Crazy tuna. What age do you think? Pollock? Yeah. Oh, it's giving up nets. Okay, James, I don't need the net. Oh, it's a ballon ras. I'm sure we've seen this guy already today. What's some gloves with that thing? Showing me up here. That's over a spiky. Right, take, your, take your time with it. Watch the watch this lure to the bottom. Keep going, doing really well. Don't don't give it slack line, just keep winding. Just as you turn the camera off. Yeah. Turn the camera on. Holler. Oh. Holler. Right. Yeah, we. Well done. Oh, sit back. <coughs> yes. Well done. Very well done. 
showing me up here, aren't you? Yeah. There you go. I'm just catching loads of pollock. Catching loads more than me. Yeah, loads of pollock. You've just caught a large one. Drifting that way now. Why is it casting? Have you got hooks on there? I honestly don't know, mate. <laughs> James, have a word with him. Have a word. We can go and put the anchor down now because the tide's turned. But I want to get a bass out. I want to catch a bass. <laughs> I lost one earlier on. Yeah. Uh, a friend of ours who was fishing on a boat nearby to us has had like half a dozen. Kept two lovely fish. Can I get your rod out of there? Fish it popping out. Right, you're in a little bit deeper so you can let a little bit more line out. Stuck on the bottom. There we go. <laughs> little pollock. It's a spiky. There's a little pollock here. We need to pull out a little spiky quick. Oh, a little baby pollock. Look. Teeny tiny one. We've caught some in the in that. Yeah. Not teeny tiny. We've caught some in the bullets in that alone. Where's the bass? I hope it is a spike egg. Pollock. You want to drop to the bottom and do a little bit more jigging? Like I'm more hopeful of this being a bass. Yes, it is a bass. Yes! Don't talk. <laughs> Just don't look at it, James. Don't look at it because it'll fall off. Come out of the way. Get in the net! Yes! <laughs> yes! Fish! Fish! Well, well done, James. Well done. Three times you got in the boat, oh, No, take your time, take your time. Don't, don't go mad at it because you'll drop it off. Oh, so glad to see this fish. <laughs> Switch to a lure with a bigger hook because we kept losing fish on that little hook. So glad to see this bass. Well, what have we got, James? Keeping a bend in the rod. Keeping a bend in the rod. Oh, brilliant! Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, I'm gonna James has that. caught a lovely mackerel. I'm taking that back. That's going for tea. Yes. That High five. The, that's one of the biggest mackerel I've ever seen. <laughs> Luckily I got that in. Luckily you got it in in time. That feels good. Yes! <laughs> <You've got to. laughs> right, we'll go and finish this drift and then we'll go and put the anchor down on the sand. It's faster to ride in the like oh, here. And it looks like a decent one. Feels like a decent one. It tastes like a decent one. I don't know, we've not got it on the boat yet. Could be oh, a big ballon rat. Oh, I did. <laughs> Back up a bit. Oh my god! That's a beauty! That is a nice pollock, isn't it? Yeah, that's really a fat one. It is a fat one. We'll have some good meat out of that. No, no, we've already got a pollock, we don't need any more. But that is a lovely one. Uh, easy tiger. He's a donkey off one. Yeah. There we go. There's a lure in his mouth. You snagged up bottom again? Yep. Can you get it out yourself? I did it. Good lad. I did it itself. 
There we go. Whoa. So glad to start seeing a few fish. It was a difficult start, wasn't it, James? Yeah, I had zero. You... you had zero, but you've been asleep for three quarters of an hour. Yeah. We've had our bass and pollock. Let's go and put the anchor down because I promised James that we'll go and fish for some rays. Because I love fishing for rays. Because you love fishing for rays. Also, I have a new rod to try out. Yeah, you do. Right, we are finally sat at anchor. James has just tucked himself up the front and he is busy eating it. What are you eating? A Nutella sandwich. A Nutella sandwich. I've just got a couple of rods set up and it looks like we might have our first customer. All we're doing is we're sat back fishing onto an area of sand. The rigs that I'm using are just chuck this in here for two Very simple running ledger rigs. This is the hook length. Two oar hooks, that's how big they are, on two and a half feet of 40 pound fluoro, just ending in a little barrel swivel. And all they're doing is they're just running ledger rigs. And I have baited it with a little strip. Pick your bottle up, don't want it rolling around. Some of the mackerel that were caught right at the start of the session. That's all it is. Just a little strip of mackerel. The target is going to be small eyed rays, blonde rays, gurnards, <laughs> probably dogfish, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Just fishing on the sand. James is going to be trying out his new rod, his ray rod. Yeah, a little small eyed ray. Wow, there's the first one. Well first what we're what we're, we're doing day. what we're doing's worked. As James says, the first ray of the day. This is a little juvenile male. And the hook is just in the corner of his mouth. There's a little stupid mackerel. There you go. That was it. Can you come and watch him go back? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got a mouthful of Nutella sandwich? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There he goes. Okay, so all the trace was, you're walking into stuff. Show you this one just before I cast it out. This is just easy fishing. This is just calm, relaxed, easy fishing. There, look. Leads on a slider to a swivel. Hook length, hook bait. Nothing complicated at all, is the James? Uh-uh. Do you want to come and reel yours in? Because it looks like when this one wrapped up in it, it might have tangled it all up. But there might also be a bite on there. Like it, doesn't it? Right, go on and take it to that side. Oh my god, this is strong. Right, well, hold on to it then. I am! <laughs> go on, I've got it. Hold it up, don't let it bang on the side of the boat. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? No. No, you weren't. What did you say? Oh my god, this is strong! Right, what have we said about it? So you wind down 
and you lift up. <coughs> oh. You want me to tell the sandwich stuck? Oh, oh, it's going. I think you've got a ray. All right, climb down. Lift up. Oh. Yeah, keep it bending the rod, keep it bending the rod. Keep winding, wind, wind, wind. There, look, see? Keep it bending the rod. Oh, we're coming to a bead. What have we got coming up? What have we got? Another blonde! Small light ray. Oh, right. That's ginormous! Come here then. Biggest fish of the day! Right, let some line off. There you go. Well done. Very well done. Biggest. Said there was fish. a little bit of a bite, didn't I? Then all you need to do, look, this is why we have a swivel on. So you can unclip your trace. Yep. Then clip on another one. Without being bitten. Yeah, without being bitten. Clip on another one real, real easy. And then that fish down there, it's not going to tangle you all up again, is it? Right. There you go, you've got a new trace on. That took a little time. And then all you, can, all you have to do is cast back out again. Ah. What you need to do is grip it. See look where I'm look why I'm gripping it, see? Yeah. So look, put your hand around and grip it. So grip it hard. It's just a little spiky. Oh no it is, on your other hand. Ow, ow, ow. It's not that bad. There you go, see? It's just bad to me. There you go. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> grip it like that. Okay. And this one is it, can you see look? No, no, yeah, no claspers, so it's a female. Well done. You just oh, oh, oh. Got a fish on this rod. Just give it a chance. It's just had a real good bite. Give it a chance. If it starts going again, you know what you need to do, don't you? You need to wind down and strike. You got it or not? I think you've been a bit, a bit premature with that one. There's a hook just in the corner of There you go. It's only small eyed ray. I'll let you wind this one in, Dad. And it's just going to be a little baby one. Or maybe even a dogfish. What did we say? I'm very Yes. I'm I didn't go dog fish. Get a bar on this so I don't get all scratched up. Because it's happened to you before. It's happened to me lots and lots of times before. Solved. Problem solved. I thought to myself, I thought, how come those other two have had fish on and this one hasn't? This one has got some money. Another dog fish. I am really jealous now. Yeah. I knew we were going to be finding these on the sand. And that's it. All you have to do is I'll make up, make a couple of more hook lengths. I've got three rods out, so I've made up six hook lengths. So I'm going to pre-bait some. So when a dogfish and when the rays are coming thick and fast, all you have to do is take one of the old traces off, put a new one on, cast it out. Anyway, have you eaten all that packed lunch, or is there some left for me? There's some left. Good. Come off. There you go. 
think they're going to start coming thick and fast now. Baby small eyed ray. And you look like you've caught the big one. Right, turn around to the right. Daddy needs help. You need help? I don't think so. No, I do. You're a big strong lad. Could you keep going, keep going. I'll help you when you really need it. Right, don't just steady pulls up. Something is nearly. I think he's been. Yeah, this guy needs to go and see someone about that because his his clasper's nearly been chewed off. He's either had a fallout with his missus and she's had a go at it, or a predator has had a go at it. But yeah, that is a male blonde ray. You'll we'll see. Come here, you've got muck all over that grill. There you go. Some spikes in his tail, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. It's like a sunbuck. We're going trotting back. Yeah, right. In a couple of minutes he's taken me to short the other baits out. Both of these rods have got fish on. I think it's both dogfish though. Yeah. Is it really strong is it? Yeah, whatever it is. Just busy changing batteries there. And that, <laughs> that rod there has nearly disappeared over the side. What happened to it? It went. It went. It went. <laughs> but James is busy playing what I have shown is a decent ray. Well he was. Come on. Come on, get after it. All you have to do is keep bending the rod look. See, look. See how the rod's bent? Yeah. Just keep the bending. Yeah. Although rays aren't known for being like a mega a mega sport fish, when you sat like this, a good blonde ray or even a small eyed ray, when it picks up a bait and it wants to go, it'll take your rod clean over the side. Keep it up, keep it up. Good man. Trying to keep it farthest away from the entrance. I have tried, we've got a new camera and this is the first time I've ever tried putting it on the seabed so I'm also trying to keep this fish away from that because if it all gets tangled up in it it's going to be a right drama I won't know if the camera's been a success until we get it home if it has I'll put the footage in here now if you look closely you can see a small bream right in the foreground that is quickly scared away by this cracking female small eyed ray. I just love watching how these fish move over the ground, 
just effortless little flaps of their wings. Notice how it investigates where the scent must be coming from. Also, how do small hermit crabs quickly dodge out of her way? And with a few flaps of her wings, she's gone. It's not long before a shoal of pilchards flies through. I like to think they're being chased by a monster tuna. God, that'd be great to see. Now, funnily enough, this is the large array that James was fighting when I introduced this video. You can see how it flaps and rolls and kites around in the tide. This clip has been sped up but it shows the amount of small scavenging sea life down there on the seabed. Hundreds of tiny little hermit crabs. And finally, a shoal of larger scad and mackerel moves through. For the first time out, I call this a success. Oh. A cracking small eyed ray. It is a, an absolute chunk. That one. He is absolutely tiny. Yeah, she is massive, isn't she? Yeah. She must have been that one that had the back of that giant mail. Right. Right, it is. Getting to the point in time where we have got half an hour. Right. We have got half an hour left. What I'm going to do is the bass that we caught, I'm going to scale and then fill it, and the pollock, I'm also going to fill it. As well as my stonking big mackerel. As well as your stonking big mackerel. So that we can do our, our fish prep out here and just steam straight back. Because we can continue fishing while I'm doing it. That is a that is a good weighted fish. That'll be that'll be best part of a double figure fish. I'll be amazed if it isn't. If that doesn't go ten pound, I'll be amazed. Stunner, eh? Yeah. You're gonna let it go this time. No, you do. Me. Oh. Oh. There she goes. Keep it up, keep it up. Doing well, keep it up. So don't let it touch the side of the boat. Right, what you need to do, play it under your arm, like I said. And wind down and lift up like that. Okay. Right. Yeah. This counts as one of my fish. <laughs> it counts as your fish? Yes. Well, you do it then. If you want it as your fish, you'll reel it in. Come on. Go. A baby foolfish? A, a baby small eyed? Yes. I think you were just making hard work of it, weren't you? No, it was actually kind of hard. It was actually kind of hard, okay. Yeah. You fooled me. Fooled you? Yeah. Or well, do you think it was a really big one to start with and then it got smaller as the fight went on? No, I thought it was a really big one. <laughs> <laughs> There's the hook hole. It's great fun this. So if you had somebody like like James, if you wanted to take your kids out for a bit of fun or had someone that wanted to try fishing for the first time, fishing for rays is a great way to do it. Go 
there's not much left on that. You see daylight through it. Get that bass done now. Once I've done that, we'll pack up. Do you reckon we're going to catch any more fish before then? Uh, I think we will. I think we'll have. Uh, I think we'll have another ray before. before that. Okay, well the sun is about 45 minutes from going down, so it's definitely time to go. And you, I don't know if you can tell, but it is starting to get a little bit sloppy. I've finished cleaning down and I've finished finishing that fish. There's your bass, there's your pollock, there's James's mackerel. James's mackerel that you caught all by yourself. Right, yeah, we are going to have to start getting steamy. I hope you've enjoyed joining us, I hope you found it interesting. All the very best. See you later. Da, 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 da. Small, small eye. Small eye, Wait, yeah, it says two twice.